Sup, everybody? Um, real quick, I uh, I'm I'm working on trying to set up a a live stream thing. I try try doing one. Um, you actually you have to go into your account and there's like certain there's some shit you gotta do in order to uh, be able to do live streams apparently. Um, so I gotta, I gotta do all that shit and figure all that shit out. Um, and then I'm gonna look into maybe doing a live stream maybe this weekend. Um, I, I mean the best way to do it is to, uh, schedule one so that people can kind of know when it's gonna happen. But I, uh, I don't know, it's gonna, it's probably either gonna be Saturday or Sunday if I do it this weekend. And I don't, I don't know if I'm working Saturday or Sunday. Usually I take Sundays off, but this weekend I might be driving all day, um, might be driving all day Sunday. I don't know yet. <clears throat> we'll see. Um, we'll see how that goes. But, look, man. You know, I orig originally was not going to make a video on this United Airlines thing that's going on right now. You know, I mean, when I first when I first heard about this this fucking story, I thought it was just what, like a quick sensational like, "Oh, look at this crazy thing that happened." And then more and more and more pe like everybody everybody everywhere all over the place is talking about this shit just about Everywhere, like, like, of course the the fucking media is eating it up. But you got like people all, all over YouTube, like all the like big YouTubers, small YouTubers. Everybody's talking about this shit. Uh, they, like radio shows, all kinds of talk shows. Everybody's making bits about it, and I, I think there's memes being made about. It's just it's turned into this huge fucking deal, right? And the more, like, at first, the first couple times I heard about it, it was just kind of like, I didn't really have much interest. It's like, oh, well, something crazy happened, you know. Crazy shit. Oh, you know, it doesn't even really seem... In the grand scheme of things, what happened is really not all that crazy. Crazier shit happens. It just doesn't become as sensationalized. And part of it is that, like, this story that's being sold about this... All right. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sure most of you watching, you have to have heard about this fucking story um, about this Asian dude who got pulled off of this United Airlines flight. If you happen to not have heard about this story, I don't know how the fuck you, you couldn't have heard about this story since the whole world's talking about it. Um, but if you haven't had the, heard this story... Fuck, Google the word United and just see what pops up. Put United in the search bar for YouTube, just the word United, and there's like a thousand fucking videos about it. But I wanted to make a quick video about it just because I kind of disagree with the direction that the whole fucking world's going in. I just, I don't know, I'm just going to say what I think about it. But the, the story is being sold as, and the, the, all the headlines are, you know, United Airline brutally attacks and tr literally drags one of their passengers off one of their planes, you know. So I was like, you know what, let me, let me, let me figure out what the real story is here. And I'm not going to rehash the whole fucking story, because you can go anywhere and get that. If you don't know what the story is... Go find out, go listen to it, go watch the videos, then come back here. But... United Airlines didn't drag nobody off a fucking airplane. Let's get this straight. Let's get this... Let's get our facts straight before we can express our opinions on the matter. You know, the way I... The way things basically went down is... They over... United overbooked the flight. And... They wanted they, they 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 needed people to get off the plane so that they could have this flight crew get on the plane and take them down to Louisville or whatever, and this guy fucking refuses to do it. So 
because he, he refuses to get out of his seat, they bring in police officers from the airport or whatever to get this guy off the fucking plane. And then, you know, an altercation ensues and all that. And, uh, you know, he gets, his nose hits a he uh, an armrest and, you know, he gets, a, he gets a bloody nose. People are acting like he's been fucking brutalized and shit. You know, yeah, I mean, as far as altercations with police goes, that was pretty fucking mellow. You know, I mean, because I subscribe to uh, a channel or two where, that is like body cam footage of actual encounters cops have with people running and, you know, getting into fights and shit like that. Just people resisting arrest and stuff like that. And as far as encounters with cops go, that one was pretty fucking, um, pretty fucking mellow, in my opinion. Uh, go watch a video of a guy who's like hopped up on crack or meth or some shit like fight with a cop for five minutes before backup shows up and he's you know shit like that and they're tasing him and it's not affecting him that's that is more that's extreme so I just people people are acting like the CEO of United Airlines came down to this fucking airplane which is like this little commuter flight it's not even one of the big planes. It's some little bullshit jet, you know, on a, like a fucking 45-minute flight. They act like the, the CEO personally came down there, got out of his Mercedes, you know, ran down the jetway, and beat the fuck out of this guy. It's not what, not what fucking happened here. Look. Rather than look at the sensationalism... You know, the, the headlines of what's going on here. Because I feel like that's what... There's so much news and there's so much information now. No one really... No one really... I feel like a majority of people, they don't even read an art. They don't even read the article and find out what actually happened and make an informed decision about what happened. Like, okay, I've, I've read all the facts. This is what I now think. I feel like so many people just read the fucking headlines or they listen to Jimmy Kimmel make a fucking bit about it and they're like, yeah, you know, fuck United Airlines. Now, I think a lot of this is fueled by the fact that United Airlines is a major corporation. And what, wait, wait, wait. A major corporation versus a, a, just one guy, just a regular fucking guy? Oh, fuck the corporation. Fuck those greedy pieces of shit, you know? Hold on a minute here, you know? It's all your fucking role. Look, I get it. You know, big, greedy, giant fucking corporation. Corporation versus the little guy. Age-old fucking argument, right? Um, but look, if you really read into it, if you, if you were to look at this situation objectively, this is the way I see it, okay? <clears throat> I think, yeah, United Airlines... Look, they fucked up by overbooking the flight, but look, that's something that happens when you fly. I have flown many, many times throughout my life. I've been flying since I was a kid. I've flown many fucking times. And when it comes to flying, inconveniences are part of the game. You know, people people are taught bit people are all of a sudden bitching about like, oh the you know, why do they even overbook flights? Like, people are all of a sudden all concerned about major airlines booking flights. You know, I, as far as I'm concerned, the TSA is way more of a fucking inconvenience than flights being overbooked. But no one gives a shit about that anymore. People bitched about it when, when TSA came out after 9-11, and now it's just, it's part of the game, you know? But so is overbooking. So is delayed flights. Okay. One time, I, I I went to I went to get on a flight, and the plane was delayed for ten fucking hours, ten hours. And so, me and like, and this was like one of the big planes. So it was like me and a hundred and fifty other people sitting in the terminal. We sat there for ten hours. In fact, a lot of people like. Just about all of us had been there one, two, even three, maybe four hours before the flight got there. So some people were waiting like 12 to 14 fucking hours or 16 hours for this plane to finally get there. You know what we all did? You know how all of us 
all the people that were going to get on this flight, this packed, uh, sold out flight, you know how we reacted to that situation? We sat and waited for our fucking plane to get there. That's what we did. We've paid for our tickets. We've checked our bags. We've gone through all the fucking bullshit TSA security, taking our goddamn shoes and belts and fucking hats and, you know, getting bare ass fucking naked, stepping into scanners. We've gone through all that shit. You know, we're here. We're waiting for the plane. It's done. You get hungry, go get you a $9 sandwich. <laughs> that, that was it. Look, when it comes to flying, inconveniences are part of the game. You know, not to mention, if they're going to inconvenience me, but they're gonna, then they're going to offer me an $800 voucher, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the fucking $800, get, get a ticket from another flight, then I'm going to fly Delta from now on. And you know what's funny? You know, I was going to wait, maybe wait to the end of the video to say this, but I'm just going to say it up front. You know, money talks way louder than principle does. Now, right now, since this is this big sensation that's going on, people are like, oh, people are, we're, we're, we're boycotting uh, United Airlines. You know, all oh, their stock prices are plummeting and they're having all these issues and, you know, it's a PR fucking nightmare. Look, people buy plane tickets. When you buy a plane ticket, do you go to Southwest.com? Do you go to Delta or usairways.com no you fucking don't you most likely don't not if you're trying to get the best price on a fucking ticket you're going to Travelocity you're going to uh... <sighs> fuck I, I can't even I can't remember the name of that other really big site right right off the top of my head I've used them before but like uh, uh... like cheap tickets or whatever the fuck it's called anyways you go to these websites, you put in where you are, where you want to go, when, and it pulls up all the flights, and it's from it's from U.S. Airways and Delta and uh, American Airlines and United. It's all the major, you know, uh, airlines, and you pick your ticket based on the price. That, you know, is it a one? You know, is it uh, it does it have a stop off, a layover, whatever, shit like that. That's how I've always paid pick my tickets. That's how my family's always picked the tickets. If Southwest has got the cheapest ticket, you know, we're not paying an extra, especially if you're rolling with a whole fucking family, are you going to pay an extra $50 to $100 for a ticket, per ticket, just because you prefer Delta over United? That doesn't make it, you know, if you're traveling with four people, if that's an extra $100 a ticket, it's $400 fucking dollars. Now, you're going to pay an extra $400 just because you prefer another airline? Let me just say this, I've flown on all of them. I've flown on Delta, Southwest a million times, uh, American, United, I'm sure I'm, I'm forgetting one, US Airways if I haven't already mentioned it. I've flown on all of them. I've flown on all the major airlines. They're all exactly the fucking same to me. They're all exactly the fucking same. The, you know, the planes, the plane's a fucking plane. Maybe it's got three seats, maybe it's got four. It's a fucking airplane. They're just all about just the same. You know, now I know things have changed recently with, you know, this this company charges for bag, for check bags and this one, the first one's free, but the next check bag's $75 and shit like that go kind of changes here and there. But as far as I'm concerned, it's just about all the fucking same. You know, we know you have a choice when you fly. Yeah, the choice is who's got the cheapest goddamn fare, right? So what I'm, why, the reason I say this is because... People are going to hate United for this. what they see as this injustice to this fucking guy. Give it about six months. All they've got to do is, like, since their stock prices is going down and, and they're, they're going to be taking a, a financial hit on this, no doubt. But all they got to do is they're going to drop fares, they're going to undercut all the rest of the airlines, and then they're fucking, you know, they're, they're going to go right back up. Wait till, wait till this holiday season. Wait till holiday season 2017 comes around. If United has the cheapest tickets around, people, people are, people uh, vote with their wallets. Okay, people want to act like they're big on principle. Like, oh no, you know what? I'm, I'm going to stand on principle here. And what they, what United did to this guy is not right. Well, let's see if you're singing the same tune when you and. Uh, you and your niece and your aunt and your wife or your your daughter and all this shit. Wait until you guys gotta go up and visit grandma uh, 
for Christmas or Thanksgiving this year, and then we'll see who's got the cheapest ticket. Now, if United is $50 a ticket cheaper than all of the rest of the airlines, guess who, who the fuck you're going to be flying? United. You ain't going to be paying no three, four hundred fucking dollars to fly the whole family just out of sheer, oh, wait, wait a minute, they beat up that guy eight months ago. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and spend 400 more dollars. No. Bullshit. I'm calling it right now. Mark my fucking words. Mark my fucking words. This ain't the first time some major corporations fucked up. People eventually forget. Something else is going to happen next week. Everybody's going to start forgetting about it. And then, like, maybe a couple months from now, it'll just be like, a, it'll be a fucking joke. It'll be a meme. People are... Pe talk shows and mainstream media, nobody's going to be talking about this shit anymore. The only reason they'll bring this up again is if maybe this guy decides to sue, and then they'll talk about what happens if he... And then United's going to settle with his ass. You know, they've already st started to pull all this shit out of his past to defame him. Like, he... Like, everybody, oh, this Asian doctor and shit. Like, uh, from what I've heard, he's not even a doctor anymore. Like, from what I've heard, they took his medical license because he was given oxys to one of his uh, his patients to have gay sex with him in exchange for oxys. He got caught, brought up on f felony charges for it, and then uh, he lost his medical license or some shit like that. If he got it back, I don't know. But... I, supposedly now he's like a fucking professional poker player or some shit. He's not even a fucking doctor anymore. But that's that's kind of beside the point. You know, the point is... Look. The way he handled the situation was wrong. Now, I'm, I, look, the guy originally was not in the wrong. Look, he got fucked by the airline. He got inconvenienced. You know, things are going to happen with your, the company you work for, that maybe the hospital you go to or something like that, you know, your bank, you know, your inter internet service provider. One of the many services that you use, one of the many companies that you are a patron of, they're gonna fuck up and fuck you over some way or another at some point, it happens. Look at the, uh, like the, uh, the mechanic industry. You go in, you spend a thousand dollars on a repair, but the mechanic fucked up and your car breaks down again, you gotta have it towed back in and it's this big fuck around. Shit happens. It's just the nature of the beast. That you you you, you do what you have to do to get past it, and then you just maybe if you don't want to, don't use that company anymore. That's the free market. That's how the free market works. You're free to use another airline if you so choose. If you're if this guy's flying United all the time and he, if he's getting fucked over, you know, by stuff like this, then don't fly them anymore. You know, simple as that. You don't that's it. But no, this guy says, "No, I ain't getting up." And see, and there's people actually saying on YouTube and and elsewhere that this guy had every right to keep his seat and stay on that plane. You're wrong. That's in fucking correct. And I'm going to tell you why. And the reason why is because the airplane, these air, these commercial aircraft, these are privately owned aircraft. They, they are owned by a private corporation, a private entity. So when you're on a Greyhound bus or in a taxi cab or in a limousine or an, air, an aircraft like this, if the employees of the company that own the vehicle that you're on or in ask you to leave, you have to or you are trespassing. That's the same as going into a restaurant and for whatever reason, the owner says, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. If you don't get up and get the fuck out, you're trespassing, then they have every right to call the police and get you the fuck off their premises. It's the same same thing in an aircraft. It's pretty cut and dry to me. Look, you know, as far, hey, the guy got overbooked, you know, hey, you know. It, so that's, that's a reason for him to just, like, I'm sorry, you know, if, as fucked up as it is, you know what, if, 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 put yourself in that position. Are you going to sit there and not give up your seat? That ain't your fucking plane. You don't own that goddamn plane. You don't own United Airlines. That's not your fucking plane. If the people that work for the company that owns the fucking vehicle ask you to get the fuck out, that's what you have to do. 
That's what you have to do when you are in or on private property. People are always talking about private property. This is my private property. You can't come onto my private property. Yeah, it ain't public domain. You gotta get the fuck out if the owners want you to get out. I'm sorry. It's the way it is. It's just how things are. To know this guy did not have every right to stand his fucking ground. That's bullshit. Second of all, when a police officer comes onto a fucking airplane and looks at you and says, Sir, go ahead and uh, collect your things. Please stand up. I'm going to need you to get off the plane. Get the fuck up and go. Like, are you a, are you a fucking idiot? This is post 9-11, right? There's a reason why shit like, shit like this happened. The airlines, the police officers at airports, TSA, the government... None of these people are fucking around when it comes to security at airports or in aircrafts. There ain't no fucking jokes no more. You joke about uh, an airplane going down, a bomb on an airplane, a gun on an airplane. You can get arrested for shit like that, or at least detained. You'll definitely be asked to get off the flight. You could be put on a fucking watch list. These are, The time for fucking around when it comes to flying on commercial airlines, those days are gone. Those days are gone. They ended when the fucking twin towers fell there ain't no fucking around now so if i'm a, like that's why like people people pretty much mind their fucking manners when it comes to flying now because the ones that don't like you may get hobbled and carried off by four police officers or fuck you freak out enough like the passengers will put you down because nobody wants to be on flight fucking what was it flight 99 united united 93 where everybody Tackled the fucking terrorists on 9 11. Nobody wants to, nobody wants that. We don't want this guy taking the cockpit. Like, just there ain't no fucking around no more when it comes on to airlines. So, if I'm sitting in a fucking airplane you know, and a police officer asks me to, uh, sh yes, sir, you know what? Let me grab my bag and I'll be right off this fucking airplane. You know, because you know what? I know what, I already know what's about to happen if I don't comply. And everyone with a quarter of a fucking brain should know what is about to happen. If you don't get your ass off that plane, they are going to remove you from that plane any way they fucking can. And if you put up a fight, you're probably gonna get bloodied up like this fucking guy did. I I don't I, I just this is so cut and dry to me. This is so fucking common sense to me. I just don't get it. If people want to attack United Airlines, attack United Airlines for being the airline that inconveniences the shit out of their customers all the fucking time. Not like United Airlines brutally drags man from his seat, kicking and screaming and shit like that. You know, and, and, and when they, they start to remove this man from his seat, this is a man who was a medical doctor, went to medical school, was smart enough apparently to become a doctor, yet he, he's t too fucking stupid to realize that when cops are removing you from a fucking airplane, you should just comply. No, he's fucking, he's wailing, like, ah, just cure me, just cure me. Like, what the fuck? Are you fucking serious? Like, I don't know, just, there's something wrong there. There's something mentally wrong, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know if the guy was uh, inebriated, I don't know what the fuck. I wasn't there, don't know. That is not how you fucking react to that situation. That's not how, just, I feel like us regular fucking human beings would react to that situation. You know? Like, all these people in this fucking video, This is wrong! What are you doing? Like, like that fucking lady would have reacted the same way if they told her to give up her seat. She would have said, Well, this is just ridiculous while she's picking up her shit to get the fuck off the plane. She'd complain, sure. She's not gonna do what fucking homeboy did. So... It's just all bullshit to me, you know, and I just, you know, just to be devil's advocate, I just don't, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with all, uh, everything, you know, everybody just jumping on the bandwagon of this guy's side, like, no one's thinking objectively about this, no one, no one, I'm not even saying I'm taking United Airlines side, you know, whose side I, I guess I'm, I'm taking, the fucking cops who pulled the motherfucker off the plane, I guess I'm taking their side. You know, that's... Like, if, someone, if someone's uh, in your house, sitting on your fucking couch, someone... someone open, Say someone... Uh, you're hanging out of your house. 
some person you've never met, you have no idea who they are. They just say they say they walk through your front door, they open it, close it, walk in. Hey, how you doing? They sit down in your living room, hang out on your couch, and they stretch out and relax. You're gonna say, dude, you need to get the fuck out of my house. This is my this is private property. This is my home. What are you doing? And this guy says to you, I ain't fucking leaving. You don't you can't make me. I don't have to leave. What are you gonna do? You're gonna get law enforcement to come to your I mean, maybe you'll beat the shit out of them, shoot them with a gun. I don't know what you're gonna do. But all in all, law enforcement's gonna get called at some point to remove this motherfucker, live or dead, however you choose to react to the situation. You know, you never know. A guy could be mentally ill, you know, could be just off his rocker. Maybe he got away from the mental institution. Who fucking knows? But let's say he's just sitting there and he won't get up. Cops are going to come to your house and then they're going to say, Sir, you need to stand up and turn around and put your hands behind your back. What do you think is going to happen if that man says, No, I ain't getting up and you can't make me? How do you, what do you think the cops are going to do? What, do you, what are they going to do? Do you think they're going to say, throw their hands up and say, Well, fuck, I guess we tried, Bill. Let's go get something to eat. I'm hungry. Sorry, you're going to have to deal with this on your own. You know, we know it's your property and everything, but, you know, hey, do you want to get up? What are we going to do? No. They're going to fucking forcibly remove the motherfucker, right? Am I... Is anybody with me on this? Does anybody understand what I'm fucking getting at here? It's just... It just boggles my mind. And the reason I'm getting so loud about this is because I feel like at least someone else in the world would maybe see things this way. Maybe someone, any YouTuber or public figure or news organization maybe would at least look at this in a little more neutral, objective light. Like, well, you know, he did... You know, uh, he was on private property, ref you know, at the point he was trespassing. Once they told him to leave private property and he didn't leave, he's trespassing, which is illegal. It's against the law. So, I mean, if this guy wants to sue United Airlines, I don't think he's got a fucking case, in my opinion. If I was that judge, I'd say, look, if you want to sue somebody, sue the fucking police department. Good luck with that one, you know, see how that works out. Maybe you win, maybe you don't, maybe you get a settlement, I don't know. But suing you, United, United's just doing, they're just, I'm not going to say what they did was right, but what I am going to say is what they did was not only not illegal, it's standard fucking operating procedure. They overbook flights, they offer people vouchers, they see how much money they can give them, and then people won't get off, they make them get off. They make them forfeit their seats. That is how things work. It's how things fucking work, you know? So, so they weren't breaking the law. Is it is it is it fucked up? Is it a dick move? Is it inconvenient as shit? Of course it is. But you know, refusing to give up your seat? It's just fucking stupid. That's just how I feel about it. Just how I feel about it. You know, I'm not really paying attention to uh, where I'm not watching all the news on this story. I haven't watched all the commentaries on it. I've just, I've, I've seen and heard it here and there and stuff like that. When it started popping up on cha YouTube channels and radio stations, uh, talk shows that I, I like commonly listen to, then I started to kind of have an opinion on it. But, I don't know. I probably won't even talk about it again. Maybe unless, I don't know, things change or something like that. But, look, maybe, maybe I, I'm all by myself on this. Maybe I don't know what in the fuck I'm talking about. You know, you guys tell me. But that's it. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say about it right now. So, uh, I'll figure out what I'm doing with this live feed, you know, and maybe I'll schedule something. So if I do, keep an eye out for that, you know. And uh, I don't know what I'll be talking about. I don't. Even, whatever you guys want to talk about. If if it even if anybody even watches it, I don't know. We'll see. But. If I do do the live stream, you know, feel free to fucking jump in there and uh, ask me about whatever. You, you ask me just about anything, you know, within reason. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Fuck. So let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys later.